Hello, Internet. My name is Joshua. I'm going to go and solve the question all... Oh, no, wait. Hold it for a second. Common character count. Oh, that is so bad grammar. Anyways, guys, um, you can find this in Code Signal, the arcade section. And, um, well, let's begin. And i done this long, long time ago, so hopefully I can still remember how to solve this. So you're given two strings, and you want to find the common characters between them. And you just want to return the, oh, the number of common characters between them. In this example, you have AABCC and ADCAA. So it's not the number of unique characters. Well, I mean, what I mean by that is like, you know, since you have two A's, you get counted as two different A's, not just, you know, just A and C match. It has actually. So let's think about this. Hmm. First thing that goes through my mind is that if I do, um, basically, well, let's look at the constraints before I continue. It has to, the word has to be at least one letter. I mean, a very terrible solution is to do a nested for loop. And when I say a nested for loop, that means that, you know, for just SF1, I'll be finding a... Um, uh, for each letter of SF1, I want to find a letter in SF2. It's got to be a nicer way to solve this question, guys. I mean, let's just solve, let's just solve it with that horrible way of doing it. So I could just say for string. I mean, yeah, let's just do it for each letter. Hmm. Could I iterate it through it once and remove it again? I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking, I wonder how an array list works. Well, let's think about this. If I iterate it through it once with an array list of, uh, not strings, well, it could be strings. Um, I mean, I'll just use characters. But could this take primitive values? I don't know about that. Huh, let's just see what happens. New array. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going, yeah, it has to be fully. So I'm going to go and add each con each character of the string to S of 1. I'll take the size of that new array for each character. And then I remove a character that's found when I iterate the string 2 if it's an array list. And whatever is its leftover size, that. Uh, I mean, whatever was the difference of the size before and after I iterate S2, that's going to be the number of common characters. It's going to be a little bit woeful right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in size equals zero. Actually, I don't want to put that one yet until I actually um, add each character into string array, string array to car array. Or it would be kind of nicer by just... Because I don't want to create too much space complexity. I want just don't make it any complicated. So array.add. I'm going to add the character C. And now I'll get the size. What is the array size here? And now I want to go through each character of s2.car array. And... Let's see here, r.remove, the first occurrence of character C. Now, I have a feeling that the way it searches for elements in a character, I mean, to a array list is like almost nearly all of n time. There probably is a better way of solving this, but I wouldn't just solve it like a boss. So I'm gonna say, what's the size? Make it easier to read. I call it the four. And this one is going to be called after in a way. Size. Now we can subtract the before and after. And that is a number of common characters. Let's run the test. Slap the run test button. Uh oh. What did I do wrong? Huh, that's not good. I think I'll put this as a blooper in my video. 
Did I do something wrong here? What? Where in the world did it say that I failed here? Ah, you know what? Instead of using an array list, why can't I just remove each? Here, here's what I can do. The same concept, but this time we don't need an array list. Let's just uh, let's use that same concept with the string. Now this time I will not be using an array list because that was giving problems. What I'll be doing? I'll remove the first occurrence of the string, um, of the letter of that string. So I'll be like this. So C1, I want to do S1 dot replace. It's going to remove the first R. Is there a delete? Let me see, S1 dot. Let's see all the methods that are available to us. Get by it's hashed. Index of matches. There's no remove, hey? So I probably have to just do a replace C with an empty that. I wonder if I have to do S1 equals S1 dot replace like that. What's this? What's the issue with this one? Ah, I see. They have to be the same. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Same um, invalid character constant. All right. Uh, why can't I do that? Can I do this? Can I cast a character to a string or? Man, picky picky, don't do that to me. Anyways, and now I get the array, the size of it after. And now it's almost a before minus after. I don't see what happens here. Oh. Okay. To a string. <laughs> Not cool. What I can do though is that I'm. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to be doing this. I might as well do the substring of. of substring to get that character by itself. Position is less than s2.length and position plus plus. And what I'll be doing here. One dot substring position and position plus one, and I don't want to get the I don't want to get the yeah, there you go. All right, let's run that test. Oh crap! I should put s two to substring. Sorry about that, guys. Four out of five tests pass. What have I done wrong here? It's four. I might be missing one character. Maybe I do have to conclude this one. Let's try it. Oh, not working. Huh. Well, uh, intermission. Hey guys, sorry that you had to see me struggle like that. I realized I used the wrong method. Instead of replace, it should be replace first. So it only removes that one element of the first occurrence of that string. I suppose it would work if I just do the dot cure at. Let me see if that's the case. Dot character at position. Oh, it has to be a. It definitely has to be a string. Let me see if I submit it. Would it work? Hooray! That's great. So basically what I did is that I get the length of before and after the string. And um, before I start removing every um, common character, but only remove one character of the first occurrence when it happened. Um, all right. Well, um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, 
vote for me. I'll be running in 2020. They're just kidding. All right, guys. Have a good day and cheers.